Hi friends, I'm Jason, the marketing professor, and I teach everyone from the student to the CEO the essentials of digital marketing in five minutes or less. Let's get started. Today I'm going to share with you some ideas on how you can use digital marketing to help you conquer huge projects. For starters, digital marketing enables you with an abundance of project management tools, ways that you can take a large project and delegate certain elements to, uh, of it to certain individuals on your team. So whether you're taking an inventory or getting ready to launch a new thing, or you've getting, let's think about the holidays, getting ready for Black Friday, you can use a scheduling piece of software or a project management tool like Notion or Rike and assign certain tasks to certain people. Everybody can engage with it in one time. And there's no question who does what and when something is due. I use Notion personally. Again, no personal endorsement, just a project or a piece of software that I happen to use so that I can connect with people on my team on when videos are produced, when thumbnails are created, when something is uploaded, and when something goes live. Use it to make your life easier. In a similar vein, it's a great opportunity to not only communicate because a lot of us, as of the COVID pandemic showed us that we don't have to sit in the same building to do a job. We can collaborate across town, across zip codes, and in some cases even across the country. So if you have the right tools, your team can be scattered all across the country. It's far more economical and you can use the tools to not only communicate, but also collaborate. Even when it comes down to something like a a thumbnail that you're gonna put on your Facebook page. What does the colors do for, for the message? What does the actual message look like? Do we need to change the artwork? You can get a whole lot of opinions at the speed of light because you can actively engage with your team. It can also help you with your social media management. One of the things I've mentioned before is make sure you post with intention. Don't just post a picture of your eggs and bacon. Hey, look what I had for breakfast this morning, unless you're focusing perhaps on the value of a high protein breakfast. But you can use some of these technology tools to schedule when you're going to post and on what particular platform. Again, a personal favorite of mine is Hootsuite. It can cost you a couple of dollars, but it's a great tool to not only schedule all of your social media posts, but it's also in a calendar and planner for you so you can plan tomorrow today, something I'm a big fan of, and you know what's gonna post and when it's gonna post, and you can make sure your message stays consistent for the next couple of days or couple of weeks. And don't forget about the data that comes to you from using any type of technology. You can get feedback in real time on how people are interacting with some of your digital marketing campaigns. You can share that with members of your team. You can look at say a Facebook post, see that it's not getting the engagement you want it to, talk to maybe your graphic designer about changing a color, changing a look, or talk to your copywriters and make sure that you've got the right topics, the right verbiage that's resonating with people. You can do that in real time using some of these digital marketing tools that are available to you and you can conquer those big projects in no time flat. If you like short lessons like this, do me a favor, click the like button as well as subscribe and let me know if there's something you want me to cover. You can reach me at my website, themarketingprofessor.net, all the social media places online and on my new Discord community where there's an abundance of free digital marketing resources for you, discussions on how to build and enhance a digital marketing career and a whole lot more. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll talk to you next time. See ya.